Hi everyone, I'm Hannah, Vice President of the 3D Printing Club, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own coaster on OnShape. So I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. So to start a project, we are going to come over here to the left side and we're going to hit the create button and we're going to go to document. I'm going to call this coaster. So we are going to want to do this on the front plane. So we can just uh, click over here on the right side on this cube and go to click front plane. And then we're going to hit sketch. Um, so it's going to bring up our first sketch here. And we're going to want to do this on the front plane. So we're going to click that here. And then um, we will click this circle. So we're going to make sure that we want a center point circle. So we're going to use this one. And we're going to start from this um, black dot here in the middle. And we're just going to click and drag this out and then click again. And so we're going to want this to be a certain dimension, a certain diameter across. So we're going to come up here to the diameter button. And we're going to click that. And then we're gonna click over here. Make sure you hover over the line, the blue line, so it turns orange. We're gonna click that. And then it will automatically come up with it as the diameter. So we are gonna want this to be four inches. That's a perfect size for you know the bottom of your mug or cup to fit inside there. Um, and then we are going to hit check. So if you use your right click and you hold it down and then you move around, you can kind of see like the sketch from a different view. And then if you always wanna go back to like seeing it straight on, you can just come over here to the cube and hit front again. Um, so now that we have that sketch, we are going to want to extrude it. So we're gonna come over here kind of to like the left side, um, hover over these cubes, it says extrude, click it. And then we want to um, pick what we're supposed to be extruding. So we're gonna click this circle here that we just drew. So it should come up and say face of sketch one. And for depth, we're gonna want this to be 0 0.3 inches. And then you can hit enter. And then once again, if you um, right click, hold it down and um, move your orientation, like move your view, uh, you can see that it did extrude the 0 0.3 inches that we want. So I'm just going to hit check. Um, so the first step is all done. Um, now we are going to make a second sketch. So we're gonna just hit the sketch button again. And when we select our plane, last time we selected the front plane, but this time we're gonna actually sketch on top of this um, extruded circle that we just made. So I'm going to click on the face of that extrude one. So when it says sketch plane, it should say face of extrude one there. Um, and then we're going to hit the circle button again, same thing like we did before. Go to the middle where that black dot is, click and drag out. Perfect. It doesn't matter where you hit because we are going to um, use the dimension to fix that. Um, okay, so now that we have that blue circle again, um, I'm going to come up here to the dimension button and I'm going to click that and I'm going to click uh, that blue circle that we just drew and the outside here of this extrusion that we made in sketch one. So I'm going to click here on the blue circle and click over here on the outside circle. And now it gives us that, it gives us um, that dimension there in between the two circles. So we want this to be um, 0 0.2 inches. Yep, perfect. So now that kind of gave us like a good, um, kind of like lip around the edge for our cup to sit in and we'll hold it there nice and tight. Um, okay, so we can hit check. Um, now we are going to extrude again. So let's come over here to the extrude button. Perfect. We are going to want to extrude this in inside place right here in this inside circle that we just made in sketch two. So I'm gonna click that. It should come up as face of sketch two. And we're gonna move this up to 0 0.15 inches. Now, instead of it adding, so that would, that would kind of look really silly, like we can never put a cup on that. Um, we are going to remove it instead of add. So we're gonna come over here where it says remove, we're gonna click that. 
Um, and now we kind of have this like nice little like tray coaster thing for our cup and it looks so cute. Um, okay, perfect. So I'm going to hit check. Awesome. Okay, so now um, inside this inner circle, you can kind of do whatever design you like, just as long as it's going to let the cup rest nicely and nice and flat um, in the coaster so it doesn't spill. Um, so that's, I kind of leave that freedom up to you guys, but um, for today, I'm just going to do a basic design of kind of like concentric circles. I'm just going to continue on with that idea. I think it looks cool, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to do kind of what we just did already. I'm going to hit, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit that. I meant to hit sketch. Okay, so um, I'm going to sketch on the face of extrude two, this removal that we just did. Um, and then I'm going to click center point circle. And I'm going to make another circle there. And another circle. Just like this. Perfect. So now I'm going to dimension it again. 0 0.2 inches. Perfect. And then same with this one. 0 0.2 inches. And we're going to hit check. So now we have this circle here that this kind of like ring here that I'm highlighting with these two orange lines. I'm going to extrude that to be um, equal with the outer rim. Um, so now I'm going to hit extrude and see how it kind of like highlights both of those circles together. So I'm going to click in the middle there. And I'm going to come here to 0 0.15 inches. And see how I'm like kind of making that like ring there, just like it is on the outside. So I'm going to hit add, check. Um, and then we kind of have this like nice concentric circle idea going. So I'm going to just continue doing this until it's all filled up. Um, so doing on faces of extrude two, center point circle. I'm going to draw two so we can have that like nice concentric circle look, dimension. I'm going to make sure it's 0 0.2 inches from the last extruded circle we did. Perfect. And then same thing here. Make sure this is 0 0.2. Perfect. Check. Extrude. Face the sketch for 0 0.5 inches. And check. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. I think. We'll see how many more circles it takes, but maybe it'll only be like one more. So new sketch, phase of extrude two, center point circle. Okay, adding that and that, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna dimension it. Awesome, 0.2. Zero point two. Enter. Check. Extrude this part. Zero point one five. Enter and check. Perfect. Okay, so um, I really like the way this is looking. I think that it will hold the cup or mug, whatever I choose to put on it, really nicely. Um, because I think, like you know, it will be a flat surface in the bottom, even though it has a design. Um, I'm just going to add one more like little circle there in the middle and I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to hit sketch, phase of extrude two, center point circle. And there. Okay, so I'm only going to do one circle that time and I'm going to dimension it from the last ring we made. Make sure it's 0 0.2. Perfect. And I'm going to hit check. And um, here I'm going to hit extrude. And I'm going to actually click this whole inside circle because I want that to be um, actually filled in. And then I'm going to hit 0 0.15 inches. And, and then we have this like nice coaster. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's free um, and open to you guys to do uh, whatever design you like in the middle. Um, I just recommend that it stays flat so your glass doesn't 
topple or wiggle or spill. Um, and yeah, so that is my completed coaster. It's kind of a basic design just because it's early in the semester and we want to make sure we keep those types of tutorials, um, you know, intro videos early in the semester. So people who are new to the club can, you know, um, learn things from the very basic steps if they don't have any experience. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop sharing. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, check out our other videos that we have on the YouTube page, 3D uh, Rowan 3D Printing Club. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Bye.